What's up guys, in this video we're going to be going over episode 1 of making your own custom tycoon in Roblox Studio. Before this video starts I want to give a special thank you to Funny Morkva for suggesting this video idea. Let's get right into it. So the first thing that we're going to want to do with our tycoon is set up the basics for our tycoon. The fundamentals I should say. The things that we're going to need for our tycoon when we get to scripting it and building it. So in order to do this, let's go over to workspace right here. Click on the little plus icon to the right of that that you'll see after hovering over workspace and search for a folder. So after adding this folder into our workspace right here, we can click on it again to name it and let's name it to tycoons because this is where all of our tycoons are going to be. Now if we right click on tycoons and click on insert object down here, we can search for a model here this model right here we click on this let's go ahead and name this to tycoon this will be our tycoon here it'll have everything from all the droppers the buttons the folders the scripts everything and we can duplicate this and move it around for our other tycoons if we need to so now inside of here is where we're going to go ahead and add more folders so if we click on the plus icon to the right of our tycoon and sort search for another folder just like that we can go ahead and get to naming this this folder is going to be our buttons folder this is where we're going to have all of our buttons and we can duplicate this folder with control and d and now we'll go ahead and duplicate our folder here and let's name this one to main items this is where we're going to put all of the essentials such as the conveyor the cash collector and things as the owner door things like that next we're going to duplicate this once again and name this one to purchased items this is where we're going to go ahead and actually put all of our droppers walls everything like that Every single item that can be purchased with a button is going to go inside of here. Next, we're going to go ahead and add in an audio folder. This is going to hold all the sounds that we're going to play whenever, say, a button gets bought or whenever we collect the cash. Then we're going to go ahead and duplicate this folder and name it over to dropper parts because we need somewhere to put all of our dropper parts that are going to be spawning into a workspace. So here we can just provide an empty folder for them to go into. Next, if we duplicate this one, let's go ahead and name this one to scripts. This is where we're going to put all of our scripts for the tycoon, whether it'll be our core script that will basically handle a lot of the stuff or it'll be simple scripts such as individual things that we're gonna make in our tycoon later. And now last but definitely not least, if we duplicate the scripts folder, we have a values folder. This is where we're gonna put all of our values that we're about to add right here. The first value that we're gonna go ahead and add is an int value. If you click on the plus icon to the right of the values folder and then search for an int value, you can see that one will come up right here. And let's go ahead and name this to money value. The next value that we have is going to be a brick color value. So if we clicked on the plus icon to the right of the values folder and search for a brick color value right here, that will be perfect. And let's name this to drop color value. This is what we're going to be using for our colorizer. Basically determine what color our parts are going to be that spawn out of the dropper. So we're going to be using that for later. Next, we're going to go ahead and click on the plus icon in the values folder right here. And we're going to search for a string value just like that. And let's go ahead and name this one to material value. This will be used for our materializer, which will go ahead and change the material of whatever part our droppers are spawning. Back to the values folder though, we click on the plus icon right there. Let's go ahead and add in an object value, which will be our owner value that we're going to check if the player is actually the owner of the tycoon. This way we can check if they're allowed to go through the owner door if they're allowed to buy the buttons, if they're allowed to do all the stuff that they should be able to do inside of their tycoon. And now last but not least, we're going to go ahead and add in another brick color value right here. And let's go ahead and name this to tycoon color. So basically this is going to be used for our teams that we're going to add in. And not only our teams, but we can also change the color of the walls in our tycoon. There are lots of other things with this tycoon color value. Now now inside of our scripts right here, I'm just going to add in a script that we can use later and I'm going to rename this one to core. 
just like that because this will be our core script that will handle a lot of the big things. So now that we've got all of our values inside the values folder, we can close that one and our script inside of the scripts folder, we can go and close that one, we can close our tycoon, we can close our tycoons folder, and that'll be it for today's video. I know it was a little bit of a short one, but it gets the job done and now we have a very organized, very useful tycoon organization thing right here that we're going to be using in later episodes to actually build out our tycoon. If you'd like to leave any suggestions for either a video idea, any suggestions for the tycoon in general, anything that you have a question of, leave it down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, goodbye.